Hey Aquarius, Three of Cups, celebrate, um, getting out, um, parties, engagements, barbecues, getting to meet new people, hanging out with old people, or not old people, but you know what I mean, just people in general, people you've known for a long time. The Three of Cups is about just having a good time. So Aquarius, this tells me, you know, maybe you guys are past the anger stage, maybe you're past different, because this says, hey, you know, you're ready to get out there and have a good time. Not, I'm not saying that you're going out dating, cross washers, don't panic, don't freak out. But like, it just says, hey, you're taking time to hang out with friends or hang out with family, keeping your mind off of, you know, the alpha in the room, basically. So the Three of Cups, again, just having a good time. Maybe you're gonna be heading to barbecues, um, functions, you know, whatever. Um, this just tells me that your main focus is not on this other person. I feel a very strong connection with this other person, but you're like, keeping your mind off of this situation, so to speak. All right. The first card you have is a two of pentacles or two of coins. This is about balance. It's about change. It's about priorities. I don't know, Aquarius, maybe, you know, maybe you're moving into a new, um, a new sense of being. Maybe you're moving into, um, maybe you're feeling balanced for the first time in a long time because this person isn't around. I mean, you know, I'm sad to say, but I feel like you're starting to go, wait, I need to get my priorities straight. I need to get me straight. I need to figure out like, where am I going? What am I doing? What do I want? What's What makes Aquarius tick? What makes Aquarius happy? Because there is some sort of change here and it's balancing. Like you're feeling more balanced. Maybe you guys just needed a break because maybe the crap and the everything you've been going through, maybe that's just, you couldn't take it anymore. And you're kind of like, all right, I had to get away from this person to get balanced. There was too much trauma. There was too much bullshit. There was too much, because this is telling me like, your sense of being is shifting. Okay. The next card you have is how you're feeling coming into the month and you have the full. Yeah. So Aquarius, I feel like you're ready to take a leap of faith without this person. You know, I know there's still a big connection here and obviously you guys aren't together, but the fool is like the beginning of a new cycle. It's the beginning of a major arcana. It's the beginning of the entire cycle starting over. And the fool is somebody who is optimistic and going out there and, um, new opportunities again not that i'm saying new opportunities in love but just understanding like it's like starting life over and for some of you that may be exactly how you're feeling you may be like you know i had to drop the dead weight to feel better i you know i'd love to say oh this is a new beginning with that person but these cards aren't representing necessarily um somebody involved in your life or somebody you know the fool's kind of doing this on their own kind of moving around seeing what's going on now again this is how you're feeling and the way you're feeling i think is kind of like hey if you don't want me somebody else will or if you're not going to treat me good somebody else will and i feel like um you're at this you know precipice like if you look at the rider weight tarot that a lot of people use you know guys standing on the edge of the cliff should he jump should he not jump and the fool tells me like you know you're ready to take some sort of leap of faith maybe you're wanting to talk to this person maybe you're going to offer them or like you know, maybe you guys are going to offer each other a new beginning, but I'm telling you, Aquarius, I don't, I feel like this is right now. This is you and all about you. All right. The next card you have is your distant past or the past five, 10 years could be throughout your childhood. Now you have the Ace of Pentacles immediately. This tells me the reason the universe wants you to think about this from the past is it's reminding you there's new opportunities. It, this card is reminding you that there will always be the opportunity for a new beginning. There will always be, I'm sorry, Aquarius, but I'm getting this overwhelming feeling right now. Oof, it's giving me the chills. I'm getting, like, I can't even explain to you the chills I just got and this overwhelming feeling of like, like out with the old, in with the new. Cause you've got this like happy fool here who's like ready to go. And you've got like priorities in check and balance. Like, ooh, Aquarius, who was this person? Because this person like co codependency or like so many things going on that were not copacetic and the universe is reminding you like you may feel like you may have felt because I feel like it's like going away pretty quick but I feel like you may have felt like how could I live without this person or we're like two peas in a pot or this was the person I was going to marry or this is who I thought was going to be my everything and like you're like no, I can't. And it's interesting because I think your last video was about like, they're kind of panicking. And I feel like you're just, you're moving in these strides of I'm, I'm good. Like things are good and life is good. And look at what you're missing out on because man, it's been a long time since I felt this way. 
The next card you have is your immediate past over the past two weeks, past month or two. All right. So temperance, Sagittarius is cards. You could be dealing with Sagittarius, but temperance is patience, balance, moderation. You are definitely off balance with this person, definitely off balance with this person. And I feel like they were a heavy, like, I feel like narcissistic, controlling, because I feel like um, this weight, and I'm going to say this, and it's going to sound really weird, but like this collar or leash or something is off. And like, you feel very like levitating, like very light all of a sudden, because temperance is saying, look, you were patient with them. You were patient with the bullshit. You were patient with so much. And you were panicked before you would be like, Oh, I don't know if I can live without them. And all the feelings that we all go through with breakups. And I just feel like you're releasing that. You're just like, I know I can manage this. I know I'm fine. I know like your panic is subsided, but it's weird because it feels one sided. Even though you have balance here, I don't feel like their panic is subsided. I don't feel like, I feel like you're growing leaps and bounds or you're feeling better and better about yourself. And like, I just get this weary, like maybe they're not doing so great in that area. All right. The next card you have is your distant future. So over the next few months and you have the 10 of pentacles, the 10 of pentacles is legacy. It's success. It's, I feel like you're on this leaps and bounds of what do I want to do? Where do I want to be in life? Like you're finally focused on you. And for the longest time you were focused on somebody else and you put up with so much and you gave chance after chance after chance. And you really were patient about the whole thing. And the 10 of pentacles is saying, no, like you're on track to building your own legacy, career, family, whatever it is you want. Like this is going to be your main focus. I don't necessarily feel like this person couldn't come along, but I, I hate to say it Aquarius. I feel like the connection is starting to die. And I feel like it's starting to die on your end. I feel like you're releasing some sort of burden. You're releasing something that's been weighing you down. And you're going, look, you can come along with the ride, but you have a lot of work to do. And you have like a lot to prove here because I'm, I'm actually doing pretty well. The next card you have is your immediate future. So over the next few weeks, throughout the month of May, and you have the Queen of Pentacles. Again, doing well because the Queen of Pentacles is satisfied and she is, and again, I don't apply sex to the card, so he or she is um, nurturing and maternal, paternal instincts and very um, giving and generous. And I feel like you're ready. You, you're almost like at a point where you're like, I'm ready to be with somebody who it's a give and take. It's a, you know, we both get a, give a hundred percent. I do feel like there was some conflict here. Some of you wanted kids or some of you had kids or together um, and that comes into play or, but again, some sort of, I feel like there's, there was supposed to be moving in together or kids or marriage or something. And that's just not happening or that didn't come into the equation or that's one of the reasons this didn't happen. Um, because you guys agreed we were going to move forward and do this and do that. And then it didn't come to fruition. And I keep hearing patience again, because like, you waited and you, you placated them and you're like, Oh, I understand you're not ready or it's too soon or that. And now you're like, no, okay. Bullshit. Like, I know what I want. You said you knew what you wanted. I thought we were on the same page here. Apparently we weren't. The next card you have is anything tangible that's going to happen throughout the month. Could be the beginning, middle, end, last day, an hour, etc. You have the page of pentacles. So the page of pentacles is somebody who is responsible and practical, but aspiring. So I feel like you're being responsible with this energy. You're saying, okay, you know, it, it, part of you is almost like self-doubt. Like, is this just a high of things are really good, but is there going to be a low when I start to miss them again? Um, so you're being very like responsible and practical with your feelings. You're not running out trying to meet new people because you know that, that that's just putting a bandaid on an unhealed wound. Um, you know, you're also not expecting like a miracle from this person. They're going to be coming, running to your aid, knight in shining armor, that they're going to come run back into your life and they can't lose you and they love you so much, but you still have aspirations with this person. I don't feel like this necessarily is a closed book. It's just not open right now. It's like, it's not, the timing is not right right now. Um, and so you're working on yourself and you want to be fulfilled but you haven't completely closed that door yet. Like there's still maybe some lessons to be learned. The next card you have is how you're feeling throughout the month. Could be the beginning, middle, end. Again, you have the Knight of Pentacles. So you're feeling dutiful, cautious, hardworking. The Knight of Pentacles is somebody who's focused on, you know, work and family and finances and this, that, and the other. So I really do. I feel like you just, you've let yourself be engulfed by this type of energy, by the missing this person or the 
you know, you guys having been together, so the complacency of it, and now you're just kind of like, no, I'm focusing my attention on a lot of other things, but I'm being practical about it. I'm not denying the fact that there's a connection. I'm not denying the fact that I still care about this person. They still care about me, but I'm not living my life um, absorbed in that anymore. The next card you have are your hopes and fears for the outcome of the month, and you have the Ace of Cups. All right, so the Ace of Cups is the hopes of love, and honestly, new love. It, it's friendships, it's new beginnings. So your hope is, look, if this doesn't work out, and they don't want you, or you know, you guys can't work this out, or you don't want them, whatever the case is, your hope is that you're gonna find love. You have two new beginning cards here. So basically, he's telling me, hey, you know, Aquarius, New beginnings on the horizon. Now, could they be new beginnings with this person? Yes. But I think you know and I know that they haven't put the effort or the work into it to get to the point where they need to be. And I feel like every time you've gone back, because it feels like there's some sort of cycle here before, and it feels like every time you guys go back, it's the same thing over and over, nothing changes. And you're officially like, I want change. So not going back to that. You want to come along? You want a new beginning with me? We'll take it day by day and see what happens here. Um, I hate to say it, some of you may be dating. I mean, not trying to piss the cross watchers off, but you know, you've got celebrations, getting together with people, new beginnings, new opportunities, etc. Not that it's a bad thing. If you're not together with somebody and there was a lot of bullshit and a lot of anger and a lot of misery, then why is it a bad thing if you're meeting new people? The last card you have is your outcome, which is the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords is self-imprisonment. And that's exactly what this feels like, Aquarius, that you have imprisoned yourself in this relationship for a long time and now you guys are separated and it feels like you know the things that have come forth and I'm not saying you're out there kicking your heels up and like happy as clams and like whatever but like you're starting to realize that you actually feel weight lifted because you're not dealing with the fighting you're not dealing with the bs but you have some self-doubt here some confusion because even though part of you well a lot of you but a lot of your being is like look, this just isn't healthy, it wasn't good, um, you know, this is saying, hey, with that, which I find this card very interesting, um, a lot of this with the Eight of Swords is saying, look, um, this is somebody who's self-imprisoned. They can get out. She could, you know, get in the place in the castle or house or whatever and walk out of the front door. Instead, she's hanging herself over these own swords. And for goodness sake, put a shirt on if you're going out. So literally, the Eight of Swords is telling me some of you are doubting what you're doing right now. And I feel for a lot of you, you're liberating yourself. Um, however, I'm going to say something. I feel like it may come back full circle with this person to a certain extent. Now, this is going to be for a few of you. I feel like a lot of you realize that you've imprisoned yourself. You have a lot of confusion. You're not sure if you're making the right decision. I think you should stick with what you're doing. Again, this is entertainment purposes only. So I don't need people messaging me that he or she broke up with me. And it's because of something I said. But the Eight of Swords is telling me a lot of you know... That like you need to just continue on with this positive energy and if it comes back it comes back what's interesting here though for me is that you have the ease of cups which is new beginning okay it's starting something new new friendships developing something new and then you have the two of cups which is soulmate connection karmic connection now I'm not gonna lie I feel like there's a possibility of you connecting with somebody else I'm not gonna pretend the cards don't say that however um, there is a possibility there is a new beginning between you two and your karmic connection comes alive. I don't know, Aquarius, how you get there though, because I'm not feeling that this person is here. The energy of this other person is missing in a lot of this reading because this is about change and about balancing yourself. This is about, you know, this is you getting out. This is you like a new beginning. Now, again, it could be a new beginning with this person. But I'm not going to lie, Aquarius, I, I'm feeling like you maybe got a taste of new opportunity and you're realizing more and more and more, not just with people, but with work, with life, that there's something going on. Because then you have this, which is the Three of Wands, cl clarifying your legacy. And this is teamwork. It's accomplishment. It's, it's goals. It's looking forward. Could it be with this person? Yes. But again, why is this person missing for me? There's something in here where it's almost like, they're they're not coming around yet so could this be future future yes could this be in the next couple of months yes are you bettering yourself and that's the most important thing yes and then maybe they come in and you guys can develop something my position is these two cards the aces are new 
new, which tells me out with the old, in with the new. But then you do have cards like the Three of Wands and the Two of Cups, which is current connection, love, but that doesn't mean it can't be from somebody else. And the Three of Wands is growth, it's partnership, which means could there be growth? Yes. But if I'm being completely honest, Aquarius, which I cannot deny what is sticking in my head, is that this is going to be with somebody else, that this is going to, that this prosperity is with somebody else because I just feel like this person has not like you're doing all this developing on your own you know are they in a position to come in and better your life or is this you know I want to I want to pull another clarifying card which I don't do very often but because I'm feeling I, I have to tell you the cards are telling me that like and just everything going on around me right now is like a new buzz. It's like a new feeling. This isn't an old connection feeling. This is like a new feeling. Um, and then I pull the four of swords, which is resting, recuperation, exhaustion. So, you know, I'm not going to lie. Like, I feel like this whole thing has been, um, a lot for you to handle. And now you're in a resting place. Like you're in a place where like I, I keep hearing like you're out of the mud, like you're, and it's not this other person's fault necessarily. It just, I don't know if the timing's right or if the connection, like for whatever reason, Aquarius, um, I, yeah, I'm, I feel like this is a completely new energy coming in. Um, I feel like you, I just keep hearing like done, like you, you finally are, you know, not for very few of you, I think it's going to be a new connection with this person, a new, um, but for a lot of you, I feel like you're not even interested. Like you're, you're like, no, nope, I'm done. I'm not, I, I can't, I can't be on this merry-go-round anymore. I can't, I can't do this. And, and with that, you're going to be open to something new. So, all right, Aquarius.